Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss Deep Code question 1472 that says design browser history. So this question is very much relatable to the real life situation of how we use browser and the same thing we have to implement here. So here you are given one data structure that you have to implement that is browser history. So this class you have to implement and inside this class first uh, this is the browser history. So this is the constructor. So where you will initialize your object and uh, void visit. So this function. Uh, will tell you that you are you are visiting this URL string back. So here you have to return uh, the la last visited string after five steps. So five step backwards. So the string or the URL that was visited five step backwards and forward this function you have to return a string uh, that you have uh, that is there is five step forward. Okay. So if you take a look at this example. So let's not take a look at this example. So here in this example, we are uh, just simply implementing this browser stack. We are first initializing, then visiting different URLs, then moving backward and forward. So uh, let me uh, explain you this. So uh, we are first initializing the browser history with a leadcode.com. So let me write here leadcode.com. Okay. Then we are visiting google.com. Google.com. Then we are visiting facebook.com. Facebook.com. Then we are visiting youtube.com. So youtube.com. Then the, then after youtube.com what the thing we are doing we are moving backward okay backward by one step so initially your pointer was here but since we are moving backward your pointer will become here okay at facebook.com so we return facebook.com as our answer the current pointer now the second next thing you are doing you are again moving backward so from facebook.com you are moving to google.com so you return google.com this as our answer okay now from this google.com uh, but we are forward and then again you are moving forward forward by one step so this is forward by one step so from this you are going to here facebook.com again so you return this facebook.com then after that what you are doing you are visiting you are visiting one new site linkedin.com so on top of this facebook.com see the thing here is let's say you are at facebook.com and then at this point you are visiting some new site so all the site that are at forward of this facebook.com will be erased and only one side present uh, that would be linkedin.com and your current pointer would be this linkedin.com got it because uh, because whenever you visit some new site all the uh, sites present in the forward means that are, has to be visited in a forward or above I will be deleted so this is how browser works okay uh, so yeah current is linkedin.com you visited it now you are moving forward forward by how many steps forward by two steps but since there is nothing on the forward so you return you will remain here as it is at at the linkedin.com there is nothing on forward then you move back to two steps so one step is facebook.com and another step is at google.com so after moving two steps backward you are at google.com then uh, you move seven steps backward but the uh, but the last means uh, after moving to one step backward you are at leadcode.com there is no such no sites uh, or no url present uh, backwards or bottom so you don't go backwards and return litcut.com as your answer okay so i hope you guys understood this 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 simple thing of how browser works and yeah the only things you need to keep in mind see whenever you visit you are from the current page it clears up forward history so as we have seen that you are visiting this linkedin.com from facebook.com so you will be erased for youtube.com that is present in the forward history correct now whenever you go moves uh, backwards so let's say uh, you only return x steps backward uh, and the total number of steps are greater than x see that means that uh, let's say there are you can only move five steps backward but the current current function uh, of our moving backwards called seven seven times as you have seen this seven uh, so you won't go seven steps backward and you will return the last url uh, okay of the last step okay let's you have erased this it is four and return the last that, that, uh, that is when the size is one you return the last you can't go seven steps backward only the last or that is the present at the browser history when you initialize the browser history the first you are present you will return that simple as it is and also in moving forward if there are more steps uh, assigned to you then you can move forward so let's say these steps uh, is greater than x what is x x is the number of steps you can it is possible to move forward and steps are uh, give provided in the parameters of this forward function. So if this data are, are greater, then you will return the last steps that you the last step you will you can move forward. Okay, return the current URL after forwarding at most steps. Okay, 
uh, after forwarding at most possible steps okay so yeah so yeah the thing is let's say uh, you have you are visiting this like a.com b.com c.com d.com then moving uh, backwards and moving forwards so how you will maintain all these things in this simple way to maintain this is by using stack same uh, by only stack see where uh, see it is easier to visualize this that uh, when you visit a.com then after that from a.com you visit b.com then after that from b.com you visit c.com now you have to move back uh, so you are going back so at that point you are, what would be your answer from c.com you are going to backwards to b.com this would be your answer then move, you move forward the current pointer was at b.com so you are moving forward so it will be c.com so this is your current pointer then again you visit some new thing so let's say d.com so as you guys can see the url of the uh, url of the sites that you are visiting got stack up so in such a way that you, if you move backwards then you can it means you can move backwards by popping out some of the url you can move forward by taking help of another stack okay got it so here in this question we will maintain two stack one one is current stack and second is forward stack okay so let's say we have visited a.com b.com c.com now now after three visit let's say visit 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 there is some uh, function called for back so back two times so from this you are this is a current pointer c.com you have to move two step backwards so at that time what you will do you will take this say c.com pop that and push in the forward take this b.com pop it and push in the forward okay correct and the only remaining element would be a.com so that would be your answer after going two steps backward now if you have to move forward by three steps so what you will do see after this operation uh, your current would only contain a.com and your forward would contain uh, c.com and on top of c.com you have b.com okay because initially you push c.com and on top of it you push b.com so now you have to move three step forward so what you will simply do you will take the topmost element of forward push it here then the second topmost element push it here and then afterwards it is not possible they see only two elements are then the forward so the last push element would be what c.com so here the answer would be c.com so if you are asked again to visit some new array so whenever you are visiting some new uh, url then you will clear a forward clear forward stack this is what the question says whenever you visit some new url you will clear the forward history so here we will clear the clear the forward stack simple as it is so i hope you guys understood that how we will approach this question see intuition for this question is pretty much simple every uh, like this is the very fundamental application of stack and uh, and as you as you have now seen that how you are moving current uh, like backwards and forward you can simply implement by using two stack at a time got it so yeah based on this intuition and approach we will code our question so the code for this is also simple that we first initialize two variables current and forward okay now the new home page we push it into the current okay so when so now this function visit function so whenever you we visit some uh, url what we what the first thing we have to do we have to empty the forward okay we have to empty the forward history and we will push the new url into the current got it now how we will code for the back function back function is simply pushing uh, the url from the current to the forward see whenever you move backwards so how many urls you move backwards will be pop uh, from the current and it will be pushed to the forward so we are simply pushing the top of the current stack into the forward stack right and this we will only do until the size of the current remains one okay so that we have at least one element in the current dot top in the stack current so yeah we can return this so so this is simple let's say if the size of the current dot means if the size of this current stack is 5 and you are getting a request to move backwards seven times but we can't see so there has to be a, at least one url in the current okay now the next thing here is forward so forward is also simple see if you want to move forward then we will take a help of this forward history that we have stored in this forward stack we will take a url from this and push the current got it so this is simple as it is so yeah uh, th this is simple and yeah at the end you will take the top watch element of the current got it so you are not talking about the time and space complexity see the space complexity here is uh, big o of n 
so where n is the number of strings you have that you have stored so let's say the let's say there are m strings and the length of the largest string is l so this would be the sp uh, space complexity okay this would be the space complexity got it and now talking about the time complexity see this visit function will take big of one time complexity so let's and let's say there are s number of steps so this back function will take at max of big of s and here also it will take big of s depending on how many steps you are moving backward or forward okay but at max what can be these steps these steps can be at most big of n n is the number of urls because let's say there are uh, you have to move a seven steps backward but only there are five URLs and you can you will only move up five URLs backward so yeah the time complexity here would be big of n for these two function for visit function is big of one so yeah that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me in the comment section otherwise this question is simple uh, so yeah that's all for this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you